ladies and gentlemen 50 low 50 degrees air temperature low 50 degrees water temperature we just had some rain in the previous day so the current here and the water level of the creek are a little bit higher than usual but you guys may recognize it this is the mighty penny pack creek which means you know what time it is it is trout time i'm just messing trout time right <laughs> i am pretty excited today though because this is my first sesh for the spring stock trout here in pennsylvania i haven't fished it since they opened earlier on the seventh of this month right and i'm really really wondering today is like what the 20 seventh i'm really really wondering if there are any stalkers left over here as you guys know it's spring crew and limits five fish per day and the main objective is pretty much for me to catch some dinner for my sister and cripper kid right i cannot eat rainbow trout anymore the onkorinkus mikis because of my gout arthritis but the family at least can splurge right and covid 19 man got a shortage of a lot of different types of meat so it is pretty cool to come to the creek and be able to take some protein back home right so follow me let's get the fishing started mm, i see i see you all see this right here you all see this right here as disgusting as this looks right that is power bait so someone was fishing earlier today here or a few days ago with power bait he knew what he was doing and here we got someone goodness gracious dude who was fishing with, with shrimp this one right here may not have a clue what he was doing over here so i got the gear set up for the day i am going to be using pretty much the same lure arsenal that i was using in the previous video here on the youtube channel so if you haven't checked that video yet great opportunity for you to go there and watch watch some ads my friends and besides that besides the ep series and the aero tackle stuff i also brought out with me of course my power bait right the stuff that really you can't miss any when it's wrapped on the power bait so i'm going to be shifting between these lures today casting everywhere around the area hopping spots and hopefully catching my limit of five fish let's do it monday afternoon current is a little bit stronger than usual maybe the ep series is going to bring me some luck you never know you got heavy periods of rain that sometimes really really get the trout in feeding mode right so i'm gonna give a few casts with the ep series first over here see if the fish are feeding subsurface and if not and i have no follows then I'm going to switch to the power bait and do like more bottom fishing. This way I can work all the levels of the water column. Oh, fish on. EP series. Wow. That is what I was waiting for. That is what's up. Seems to be a little beauty too. <laughs> Bro struck as soon as the spinner went in the water that is beautiful that is what's up let me come down here a little bit we're gonna land this fish right over here got my water proof socks oh it's a brown it's a brown ladies and gentlemen first trout of the season is not the oncorin cosmicus it is actually the salmo truta always making things difficult look at that huh? side of the mouth kind of swiped at it all right good stuff as i told you guys today i'm not really releasing any fish i'm taking my limit of five because we are going to have these dudes as dinner so i'm just going to give this guy a very humane and quick death off his screen but this is our first fish of the day check it out huh beautiful little brown trout my first one of the season too about like what 10 to 12 inches not exactly big but good start to our day that is awesome that is awesome birdies that's right at least we got some protein ready to take home for dinner one out of five 
and it seems that the spinner approach is going to work today just fine, hopefully. From my experience, fellow fishermen and fisherwoman, when you come to stock trout creeks, right, and they usually stock it with two or three different species of fish, the brown trout is usually pretty aggressive when it comes to lure, or at least more aggressive in comparison to rainbow trout. So I think I'm going to stick with the inline spinner for a little while, explore a few different spots in the creek, and finally, if I am not able to catch five on the inline spinner, the EP series, then I am going to go back, <clears throat> excuse me, to some holes and just work the bottom for rainbow trout with power bait. I think that is a great plan. Oh man, these are the times that I wish that my feet were already 100% healed, which does not seem to be the case. So even a little slope like this is very, <laughs> it's very complicated for me to access. Ah oh, man, Whew, the pain and the struggles are real, but this does look juicy, so. actually surprised no bites huh Ooh. oh guys 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 I just missed a bite right in front of me right here there's a trout right here Ooh, I don't know if it was a brown or not though that fish was that fish was lethargic that fish was lethargic it was not a full strike it was not a full strike so you have to reel in the inline spinner a little bit slower to kind of see if the fish is going to come back and get it. If it doesn't, then we just move spots, give this fish maybe 15, 15 minutes, and then we come back and try to entice it to bite again. Because sometimes this trout, they can be very finicky. They kind of see that your stuff is not really food, it is just a lure, and they don't, they don't come back for it. These trout over here are not really committing to my EP series 100%. So, this is the time that you switch from inline spinner to just a little light jigging to see if anything is going to happen. Oh, wrong species. Wrong species. <laughs> oh man, we ended up catching a red breast sunfish. On the, on the Anisoptera. I'm jigging along the bottom and I'm assuming this small panfish are pretty active out here. Second species of the day, mm -mm, not this one. Wow, that is intense. I thought I had trout number two in my hands and I'm actually handling this fish with dry hands, which is not necessarily a good thing. Sorry about that. I thought I had the trout number two, right, on the Anisoptera. Turns out to be a little sunfish, man. Water temperature on the 50s and the sunfish already feeding, huh? Uh, maybe the other side of this hole. Well, never hurts. Okay, let's see the current right over there. All the way to the other side. Beautiful. That's the hole right there. Oh yeah, got something. I don't know if it is a trout or not. Yeah, it is. I knew it. From the moment I saw that structure right over there, I just knew, my man, I just knew Jackpot may just be around. What is it, brown? Yeah, wow. That's a beauty. Come up here. Beautiful brown. Look at that, huh? Second fish of the day. I don't want it to get dirty on the on land. Mind you that the treatment of this fish in this video is not really prime, but check it out because I'm taking it home to eat. But check it out. I just want to show you, right? Look, look what it did to the inline spinner. Second fish of the day. Huh? Beautiful. Salmotruta over here, right in front of the structure as I predicted when I hit the spot, right? Ooh, I like it. Juicy, juicy. I knew the spot was going to produce. If you look at this tree on the right side over here alone, you already see so many floats, right? And in the far distance, there are actually an inline spinner. 
So you have the current that is a little bit deeper on the other side. As far as you're able to cast all the way over there, chances are you would hit some trout. The shallow side is, in this case, my side. Over here. I'll give a few more casts at this particular spot. Cast behind the structure over there, and if there's no fish, I'm going to move on. If there's some fish, it's going to be in the hole on the other side, because I'm fishing the shallow side. So, yeah, had a tap. Had a tap. Ooh! <sighs> Holy cow! I had two taps, and the fish follow all the way midway. That is crazy. There's definitely another fish over here. This is when castability pays off. When you can cast that far away to the hole, all the way to the other side of the creek, a bunch of anglers can't unless you're waiting. So this is really the, the leverage that you have over other people to catch fish in your local bodies of water. Either that or, of course, you walk the other side of the creek, right? But there is no access there, so... Yeah, right there, right there. I think I had a tap. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely had a tap. There we go. There we go, boy. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. Nice eating size fish right there. I knew it, man. I felt the first tap and I just knew the fish followed. Fish came up here. It's another brown. And the browns, oh, we got off. You see that? Lucky fish, man. Yo, you were going to be braised tonight, but okay, man, lucky you. But you see, told you all, man. That's it, that's, that, mm, that's the hole. All right, last cast. Last cast, let's row it to the right. Last cast to the right side and move spots. Ooh, I missed it! Damn it! Ah, oh, okay, easy, easy. There's one on the right side. We'll catch it, we'll catch it. Okay, one feeding the current right here. Take it easy, son. Take it, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got another, ah, missed it again. Damn, bro. Yo, fish, can't you just bite a little bit better? It's definitely still in the current here. All right, take it easy, take it easy. Ah, there's, there it is. Third try, boy. Third try. I knew it. <laughs> bro. <laughs> that is what's up, another brown. Yeah, it was fitting against the current. I lost it, I lost it three times. Well, if it gets off, it gets off. We're gonna have plenty of fun at the other spots today, but I don't want to try to flip it. Flip it! Dinner! That's beautiful, that is beautiful. Man, look at that side of the mouth. Good, EP series. Never fails, man, right there in the current. Third time. Oh, you're trying to talk, bro? Don't worry, we'll eat you good, okay? <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, decisions, decisions. I believe that today so far I have hit three productive holes here at the Pennypack Creek. Uh, let me tell you, I got three fish so far, three out of five, so things are going pretty good this afternoon. And now I have to make a decision that is, go is going to be crucial for the rest of the day. I can either go downstream where I know there are going to be some productive spots because some of my favorite spots on the, in the creek, right, are downstream, but there's, there are probably going to be people and, you know, COVID-19, right? Or I can go upstream and rework the holes that I worked earlier today in an attempt to catch the last two fish that I need to complete my limit. Well, I guess as you keep watching this video, you will eventually find out what I'm going to do, yeah? Yeah, the pressure is probably higher over there anyway, so I'm going to work my way back and hit the places oh, that I hit before. 
damn bro beginning of the hole here this trout bit and it's a nice one too i'm keeping pressure so i don't lose it yeah dude nice brownie nice brown you see that nice brown smart fellas too they like to kind of go down into the mud in hopes that they're going to throw the hook away very very smart fish let's see if i can flip it if i lose it i lose it all right beautiful beautiful i was just saying that i <laughs> that i was going to hit the holes that i hit previously today instead of hitting the new holes because the fishing pressure down there is probably going to be pretty bad and check it out right i was just casting around here and boom this is the fourth brown trout of the day look wow check that out and this is gonna be a nice dinner though so don't worry okay don't worry about the handling guys now i'm feeling quite confident because i got three holes to work back until the place where i came in from and i have only one more fish to go that's good <laughs> turns out it was a good day here on the at the, at the creek on the ep series when i tell people man thomas ep series i'm using this one right here what is it one six of an ounce nickel gold blade with a shade of a blood from the trout very nice i got a thunderstorm rolling in and one fish left to go kind of feels like one of those time quests in rpg games i like that i like to fish under pressure sometimes let's make this happen real soon man come on fishy fishy Oh. <sighs> that was the last fish of the day I just missed. Yeah, I can feel it. It's kind of drizzling a little bit. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. There we go. Last fish of the day. Last fish of the day. Don't lose it, Leo. Don't lose it. Five out of five coming up, baby. Coming up, baby. Two weeks ago when I got the gout, I told everyone on IG, man, I'm gonna give you guys a head start on the trout, right? Go out, catch, limit out. Cause when Leo Shane comes out of here to catch trout, bro, it is five a day, baby. Five a day. And that's the biggest trout of the day too. Holy cow, it just started raining too. I even been kidding you guys, look at that. Fat is one of the day. And it just started raining, right on time for us to go home. Look, look, holy cow. When I tell people, get the EP series, right? And some of you guys are like, yeah, whatever, right? Look at that. Mmm, baby. Mmm, dinner. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, okay, let's stop the fish fetishes here. You know, folks, I am not going to tell you all that the penny pack is on fire. That every hole around the area got gazillions of fish swimming in it but i will tell you however that i fished out here for about 90 minutes only one and a half hour it's all the time that it took for me to shoot this youtube video and i did catch up my limit of brown trout the salmo truta not to mention that i missed so many more fish as you guys saw in this video right so i'm taking back home some quality meat over here as you guys can see five brown trout okay and look, man, this is what I always tell people, right? These are always stock trout. This is not native. This is not wild. You come out here and you buy your fishing license. You buy your trout stamp like I do every year, right? And check it out. This is the quality of the meat that you get, right? And mind you, right? I'm treating this fish this way in this video without wetting my hands and everything else because as you guys know, I'm harvesting them. So definitely no CPR today. This whole COVID-19 situation, man, got the country on a shortage when it comes to meat. <laughs> got to get ready, you know, man. When I said in the last video that I was going to stock up for the Asian grill, a lot of you thought it was a joke. And so will the sunfish, the panfish, and everything else around in the perch, because I plan on eating some fish soon, right? They shall suffer the wrath of the Asian grill. No, this ain't no joke, man. I pay for my trout stamp. I come out five a day, baby. Two weeks ago when I had my gout, I posted a story on Instagram, right? I meant what I said. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. 
If you want me to bring you guys another trout video soon, more like a tutorial related video on how to read the water and which spots to hit in your local creeks, let me know. Comment below and I will gladly shoot a video that is more tutorial oriented so that you guys can get some extra knowledge and apply it to your local bodies of water, right? It's stocked trout, okay? Tie lines, fellas. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy and stay safe. Oh, yeah. Check this out, everybody, huh? Directly from the creek to the table. We got braised right here, three trout, some scallion. Good stuff. Now it's time to have some good dinner.